I would like to introduce you to a third-party program called 3D Coat, a 3D sculpting and texture application. In this brief overview, I would like to concentrate on a few of its attributes and why this makes a great companion with Lightwave. 3D Coat reads Lightwave object files and imports them into its application, so no need to import using another file format. Because of this, I am able to start painting immediately onto this object. I'm going to cover this object with two base colors. I use the keyboard shortcut to access my color palette by tapping on the spacebar. I click the color and away I go again. The cool thing about 3D Coat are the navigation tools. You have those icons clearly visible in the top right. However, you can choose the keyboard shortcuts which are virtually the same as Lightwave's navigation keyboard shortcuts between mouse and key. Or if you have any of the Wacom products, the pen which comes with those products accesses all the navigation keyboard shortcuts. In my case, I'm using a Cintiq pen touchscreen. There are plenty of different pen options to vary your marks on the object, both with color or bump, normal and displacement maps. I found with this project I gave myself to help me with this review, I quickly developed my own technique. One that I can say is virtually an identical approach to how I would paint and texture on physical objects. One technique I use often in my traditional painting is glazing. That's where you build up many layers of paint over the top of each other. Each preceding color you put over the top slightly changes the tone and color underneath. However, those colors underneath still come through. With the paint tool in 3D Coat, I found the ability to vary the transparency level invaluable for imitating this glaze technique. This made me forget about the tool or the technology and allowed me to immerse myself into the task at hand. When this happens you are more productive, plus it allows you the possibility of creating that unique touch to your work. Now I've finished painting and texturing the object, I would like to get it back into Lightwave for rendering. Exporting it out of 3D Coat into Lightwave is simple because it is an LWO file, so no translation. I select the LWO file when loading object, modify the default light, add some radiosity, press F9 and the renders complete. I'd like to show you another part of 3D Coat called voxel sculpting. I'm going to start with the basic primitive object and start experimenting with some of the voxel modeling tools such as increase, build and smooth. I don't recommend always jumping into a 3D application without a plan but I had decided with this test to use the application like I would a sketchbook and just doodle and discover something along the way. I found a spike tool. The spike tool was pretty handy for designing a tapered tail for my creature. Its response so fluid and accurate at following the gesture of my hand, this app started to become quickly addictive. After about three hours my Dragon Doodle was finished and I wanted to export it into Lightwave's layout, attach the node material and render it. I attached fast skin from the node editor to the object surface, turned on radiosity. Here are a few of those renders from Lightwave's 9.6 renderer. <laughs> 